Yes, we may be just months away from The Crown's sixth and final season, and in the lead up to the show's big send off, we finally have some plot details being confirmed, as well as some exclusive on set photos and videos which give away some key scenes which we'll see in the series. I'm Matt Rogers, and join me today as we take a look at what we know so far about The Crown's season six. Now I'm bringing you weekly videos covering the best and worst of movies and television and delivering it straight to your subscription feed. So to stay up to date and support the channel, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and ring that bell to not miss a single thing. Now where season 5 left us is almost right up to the moment of Princess Diana's death. We have seen some behind the scenes shots of the upcoming season showing Elizabeth Debicki as Diana relaxing with and without her kids, but it's more than likely her death will be covered in the first couple of episodes of the upcoming season. The following episodes I assume will then navigate the aftermath of the tragedy. Some on set photos here showing what appears to be Will and Harry at their mother's funeral. The producers have confirmed we will also be seeing past this point in royal history and into the early 2000s. In the show, we've already seen the royals Annus Horribilis, but if you're familiar with royal history, things don't necessarily get better after this. And we can expect to lose not just Princess Diana, but some other senior royal family members also. But before we get into that, let's look at the lighter side of the early 2000s and the biggest update in relation to the events of the final season, which is the inclusion of the early days of Prince William and Kate Middleton's relationship. We already had confirmation of the actors playing them and now we have footage of them in character. Seen and West who played William in season five and Dominic West who plays Prince Charles' real life son has stepped down to make way for two different older actors playing the prince in different periods. Rufus Camper will be playing a teenage prince. William was just 15 when his mother died, so it's likely Camper will be playing the role during the earlier episodes. The prince will then be aged up to his late teens and early 20s, and then be played by Ed McVeigh. McVeigh will be playing the prince into the years where he met Kate, played by Meg Bellamy, both seen here filming on location at Scotland's University of St Andrews, the real life meeting place of Will and Kate. The Duke and Duchess met while studying at the university, and here we see the two actors in character and between takes walking the halls together and the early stages of their budding romance. Also, we have this on-set photo of almost the entire cast of season six in character, a rare sighting of so many family members together at once. Separately, there has been another scene leaked to TikTok in recent weeks, which shows Imelda Staunton's Queen Elizabeth II wandering the streets of London amongst the public as they lower her portrait and in its place raise a portrait of Prince Charles as King. This is all above the British pub The Queen's Head, and now The King's Head. I can almost guarantee this is a dream sequence though, as there's no real other explanation for the Queen wandering the streets of London alone, yet alone them removing her portrait right in front of her. Regardless of the context, this scene definitely gives us an insight into the Queen's state of mind during this very difficult period of her life. 2002 started with the death of the Queen's sister, Princess Margaret, who died peacefully in her sleep at the age of 71, which obviously would have been a significant loss for the Queen and the royal family as a whole. At this time, the Queen's mother was extremely unwell and frail, however insisted on being there for her daughter's funeral, which she was able to attend at the age of 101. However, in the weeks following Margaret's funeral, the Queen Mother died with the Queen by her bedside. I've said previously that it's likely the show's final scenes will be the Queen's Golden Jubilee celebrations, marking 50 years since her ascension to the throne. It's been said that the show's events will take us up to 2003, and celebrations of the Golden Jubilee took place year-round in 2002, so I think that could make for a powerful and bittersweet finale, especially in light of the context that preceded it. Filming for season 6 is expected to wrap in May or June of 2023 to be ready for a November or December release date, and then that's a wrap for the entire series. But how do you think they'll end the hit show after six seasons? I'd love to hear what you think, so let me know. I'll be down there in the comments. You can also follow along with what I'm watching on Letterboxd, username Matthew Rogers. And my other socials are linked in the description. But if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for weekly videos covering the best and worst of movies and television. If you subscribe during this video, then welcome aboard. And if you had a good time hanging out, then spank that like button. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.